Simon's meal. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just be like sitting there, maybe scratching a little bit on the inside. <laughs> just a look at my finger and says, oh. Whoa. And I feel a blood just go down uh, my upper lip. Gross. What is this? It's not. Is this your upper lip? Yeah. Yeah. Or is this your upper lip? I count the whole thing yeah. as upper lip. Yeah. This is not bottom lip, no. though. That's but like. But this is upper lip. That's like your crevasse. Yeah. You're like, uh, you're the valley of the lip. Yeah. What is this called? I have no clue. I always forget they're there, yeah. but then when I remember it, I'm like, oh, that's a thing. Yeah. I can only see that. Yeah. Like, I never notice if I'm not actively thinking about it, mm-hmm. but then it's, like, super noticeable. Yeah. It's interesting. Mine's very profound, and yours is not. Now that you say it, yeah. 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 I noticed, like, uh, weirdly, when I look at myself in the mirror, like, uh, is, I have trouble remembering faces and stuff like that mm-hmm. afterwards not remembering like i can see yours yeah and like i look away it's like it's the same face like i remember it <laughs> but i can't like look away and like oh i know exactly what you look like right but what if i was though what if yeah. it was completely different oh that would be really like because i would recognize that it was just yeah hmm. what if like you oh wait this is actually what we do we age we change slightly i was gonna say what if like every time i looked that you you just changed very ever so slightly. Yeah, I guess like your hair part moved like a, a centimeter, or like you changed your glasses. Or yeah, or like one of my freckles moved around. Yeah, yeah, hmm, that'd be weird. Like your uh, lips like grew a little bit, or like <sighs> your nose was just like out a little bit farther. That'd be trippy. Yeah, it's like he opened the podcast with a really funny sound effect. It's like a maybe like a fart. Right now? Yeah. Like that? <laughs> that's perfect. Thank All you. Right, cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's yeah, the yeah, whole yeah, thing. Yeah. But. What um, about you? You do one. I'll do. Uh... Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's pretty good. That's more like if you got like. Per, like fairly like small ass cheeks, but like yeah. still like. It, it's a good a bit of, of force behind yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it, so it slaps together like. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's always it's it's pretty great when you have like a long fart. Yeah. You know, go back and forth between like smooth, yeah. and then it'll catch your butt cheeks a little. <laughs> da- have you mastered the art of making your fart silent? No. 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 Nope. I'm really great at it. That's impressive. Yeah. I'm not. Because if I try, then I, <laughs> I tend to make it worse. Yeah? Yeah. No, I know the exact, like, angle and everything yeah. to, like, position my body. So, like... You've tried to explain it to me before, yeah. but I just can't. It's 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 quite a skill because uh, it, qu- it really helped me out in high school because, like, sometimes you got to fart. Yeah. And you don't want to fart. So, you're like, what am I supposed to do? You can't be like, hey, teach. Got to go outside. You got to fart. Got to fart. <laughs> I've never tried that actually. Maybe that, maybe that would work. <laughs> I bet. I feel like they would let you. <laughs> I was like, like no, no, stay right there and fart, fart in this you. classroom. <laughs> no, but like, uh, you know, you slightly, you lean up, like a little bit. And you just... Really, just yeah. smooth sailing, yeah, yeah. huh? Yeah. Neat. Speaking of, yeah, farting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the release of gas from your butthole. Uh, that right. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect actually for this segue. Yeah. Uh been getting back into dark souls <laughs> yeah yeah uh speaking of shit we weren't speaking of shit. no we were i mean you could, like, thought it would be, you could be like oh you know buttholes you know what that reminds me of shit you know what shit reminds me of dark buttholes oh, yeah. <laughs> just a loop yeah simon's now motioning an awkward for me to, yeah <laughs> There you go. Is that better? I mean, you can move it a bit farther away, just like the top, usually. All right. What was I saying? Dark Souls. Yeah. So I do, I go through this period where like, I I won't even think about it at all. And then I'll suddenly remember that they exist. And I'm like, <laughs> I got to play it because they're, they're really good. Yeah. And then, but first I'll go through the process because, you know, it's canon that I enjoy watching boss fight compilations like that's that's <laughs> when, how i relax when we were living together i would just look over and i was like that's all that's 
This is the only thing on his computer screen. <laughs> yeah, a Just, good, good, good chunk yeah. of the time. And if like he was working on homework, you'd have like a little tab open on the top left. It's like just just different boss fights. It's pretty. Yeah. It's pretty grand. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of boss fights out there yeah. to watch. You know, and this one time I came home, and uh, you know, you had the boss fights playing on the TV, and then you quickly like Dude. pull the covers over you, and it was like, Simon, knock next, time. <laughs> knock on your own door next time. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's a little weird. <laughs> yeah, that one was uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Yeah. That has the best boss fight. <laughs> yeah. Have I watched that one? Super Mario Galaxy I had to have watched that one. I need, to, I need to play it. I'm currently replaying Mario Galaxy 1. Oh, man, it's so good. Yeah. It's a masterpiece. I lost, because uh, I, I recently, I say recently, a good probably six months ago, <laughs> was playing it, and I got pretty far. And then my computer got wiped, lost all the save data. I mean, my Wii got wiped, <laughs> lost all the save data, and uh, I'm having to restart. It's just Mario games. Yeah, they're so good. Yeah. Uh, they... Oh, uh, but and back to it, Dark Souls. Unless you had okay. another. There's one more thing. Yeah. Hi and welcome to the Tea Time Podcast. I'm I'm one of your hosts, Simon. And I'm your other host, Simon. Don't confuse them. Now they don't know which is the real Simon. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll go through this period where I don't even think about Dark Souls. And then I remember it's there, and I'm like, okay. Now I have to watch the boss fights yeah. for each game. Yeah. Uh, And you might think that's like a spoiler, but it's really not. Because I have a pretty shit memory when it comes to stuff like that. So I can watch like... Like, I'll forget the first boss is even there, so it's still, like, a shock when I have to fight it, and I'm yeah. still really bad at it. Like, watching it does not help me in any possible way. But, and so I gotta watch all the bosses from each game. Yeah. And then I'm like, damn, did, like, that's really cool, cool design. So then I'm, like, I look up the lore, and I read about the lore, and I'm like, this is a really cool universe. Now I really want to play it. So I'll re-download it, I'll start it, I'll get, like, an hour or two into the game, and I'm like, fuck this. I hate these goddamn games. They yeah. suck. I'll put it down for a couple days, I'll be like, you know what? I'm not scared of that game. I'll play it a little more, I'll get a little further than I have in the past. I'm like, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. And then I'll meet a new obstacle, and I'm like, nope, fuck this. And I put it down again for the next three to four months. Yeah. I kind of scared to start playing because I want to. Like, it's one of those games that's sort of like so big, it's, right? Uh, like the equivalent of like uh, Game of Thrones or something like that. Where yeah, like, everyone knows. Like it, it's Dark Souls. You know, yeah, you should play it. I was like, yeah. yeah, they're really excellent. Yeah, and it's super satisfying when you do well. Yeah, but dying in the same area it, to just simple enemies mm -hmm. is so like grueling and humiliating yeah not to mention they're actually pretty creepy yeah like even like bloodborne is the creepiest but even dark souls there's some pretty creepy areas so you feel like super vulnerable wherever you go like there's never a sense of oh i'm relatively safe here or i know what i'm doing it's yeah. like you're constantly seconds away from being slaughtered um, but it's it's fun yeah. That reminds me, I really want to play a VR horror game. I, I say I do, yeah. but I know as soon as I put that headset on and I see it, yeah. I'm, no. Because it's like, that would be a totally different experience Yeah. than just playing it. Yeah. It would be okay yeah. if it weren't for, like, the built-in jump scares. Yeah. Because, like... If it was, like, some kind of maybe, like, a multiplayer, like, survival horror or something yeah. like that, I'd, I'd be down with that. Yeah. But, like, pre-programmed jump scares, you can't mm -hmm. get around them. And I always jump <laughs> at every single jump yeah. scare. Horror movies, I'm okay with. I love horror movies. Yeah. But the games are, like, totally different. Because you're putting yourself yeah. in the danger. It's like, oh, that's me. I'm 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 right there, and if right. I die, that's bad. That's... I gotta redo everything. Right, yeah. yeah. It's not as bad as like real life dying, where like if you die, like that's it. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I 
it's impressive because some people aren't bothered by horror at all. Yeah. Like, they don't jump at jump scares. Nothing yeah. really creeps them out. Like, my dad is one of those people. He, I'm pretty sure he played PT. Yeah. Nothing. Like, totally fine. And it's, it's. I you, think it's just a level of, like, removal. I actually have a, uh, like, someone made a PT game for PC. Really? Yeah. Like, we could, we could play that stuff. Because it's not even... You can't even get it on PlayStation anymore. Someone, like, remade it. Because it used to be, um, like, they took it off the PlayStation Store, yeah. but if you downloaded it in the past, you could still download it and yeah. play it, but even but that isn't, even. yeah. God. You know, Zach, I think we've had this exact conversation before at Tea Time. Really? <laughs> yeah, with Damn. TT and all that. Well, I, it's just, like, I was, but... Like I would, I think it's just a level of removal. Mm-hmm. Like if you, if you don't get so focused on it that yeah. you feel like you're in it, like yeah. if you just sit back a little and you're like, yeah. I'm in the real world, this doesn't matter what's happening in front of me. Yeah. Like I wish I could reach that level of, I don't know, not abstinence. That's not the word. Objectivity. Apathy. No, not apathy. I don't know. What about my word? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. I like your word. Thanks. Uh, PT is pretty fucked up. Have you ever played it? I watched Game Girls play it, and I tried playing it like the PC one that I got, uh, for a little bit, and I was, and then you, uh, told me like, don't fucking play it, cause I'm gonna, I want to be there when we play it. Did I? Yeah, mm. cause you're like, yeah, there's like specific things that you have to do and stuff, and if you don't do it that way, it kind of fucks it up. It's fucking scary. Yeah. Watching it is nowhere near as bad as yeah. playing it. It's so bad. Uh, it's just unsettling. Yeah. Like you when you walk up to the radio or whatever, yeah. and it's like blabbing out just the normal radio stuff, but then it stops and it starts talking to you. Yeah. And it's like, turn around. <laughs> and you're like, uh, no, I, no thanks, I don't want to. And it's like, I said turn around and you're like oh for- okay okay and and then the thing you know it's gonna yeah. be behind you and it is and it's yeah. spooky and is it can you like die in it yeah. like i think so and if you die do you like have to restart the whole game i think so i've never made it yeah. far enough all right we should we should do that tonight but it's pretty fucking scary yeah it's pretty fucked up or is pretty cool yeah yeah and because every time you go through the house, yeah, it gets worse. Yeah, like it's a pretty like ugh. smartly made game mm. because like it uses like the same assets, just slightly edited over and over and over again. Yeah, sort of like that one movie, not the room by that one guy, but the other room, where they just made a movie in just like one room and they switched out a couple things, so they only really had one set. The Tommy Wiseau movie? No, the other. Room. Oh, I didn't know there was another yeah. room. I think so. Is it called the other room? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Room two. Not the time. Not not the Tommy Wiseau room. Yeah. That That's reminds me fault. of a movie called Four Rooms. Yeah. Um. It was one of Quentin Tarantino's first movies. It's really fucking weird. Like some like cult classic kind mm-hmm. of thing. Yeah. It's indescribable. Yeah. Or I would. We should watch that. What's what's your uh, what's your like uh, sort of philosophy on death? Whoa! Yeah, that was a segue. Yeah. Like in real life. Yeah. I was gonna bring it up. It, it tied in earlier very well, but I I just didn't say it. <laughs> hmm. I just sit back for this one. Um. I'm gonna grab a pillow. Yeah. <sighs> I don't, so I used to be pretty, like, apathetic about it, Mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, once you're dead, like, that's it, that's nothing else, but I feel like there's just too much evidence to the opposite of that, Mm -hmm. like, it would, and, like, forgetting religion and and all that for a minute, (laughs) like... Forgetting religion and all uh, that. Just for a minute. Like, it, it just seems so unlikely mm-hmm. that that's it. Yeah. 
I don't know. So you, you, do you think that there is something after death? Or do you think death is it? Or I, some sort of... I, I would like to believe there's something after death. Yeah. But it I, it's really hard to try and imagine you what... The nether? Yeah. 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 You get the Minecraft screen, and then you have to start over. I, it says loading terrain. Yeah. Um, I've heard, like, it's life after death is mm-hmm. whatever you think it'll be. Yeah. So if you think it'll be nothing, that's what yeah. it is. If you think it's heaven, it's what yeah. it is. But I don't know. There, I'm really trying not to sound kooky, <laughs> but I don't know. People just have a lot of energy mm-hmm. and it seems like a good chunk of that would yeah. stick around even after you die mm-hmm. but i don't know what that means like i don't know what happens after that i don't know yeah. i really hope there's life after that yeah <laughs> but i i also am not trying to have that reincarnation bullshit mm-hmm. i am not sticking around any longer <laughs> not, not here no, i am sir. not starting over I'm not being a flower like, or some shit. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, I just don't want to be a, be a person. Don't want to be a person. I do not want to be a people. Cause I had been there, done that. Yeah. And the 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 shitty thing is that I've heard like. Well, I guess it would kind of make sense if you didn't remember your past life. Yeah. But I don't want to start over. Yeah. I mean, it's just so tiring. <laughs> You gotta do this again. <laughs> Being alive is really it's it's a real it's a real drag. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. Uh personally, you know. Uh I'm a very, you know not materialistic sounds, you know, weird. Yeah. Uh I'm more so don't know the correct word for it. Sort of but, uh, very limited belief in anything sp- spiritual. Like, uh, or... I have to see it to believe it. Almost. Like, there's some stuff that, like, like I can't... Well, now I can look at a black hole, but, like... Yeah. Uh, you know, there's some stuff that you can't look at, but there's a lot of evidence to see it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... I like the fact... I like the, the sort of life after death that is already a thing. Uh, which is like the circle of life. Yeah. So, like, fucking you dying is feeding more life. Except with people, it doesn't, which I hate. It actually really bothers me. What do you mean? Since we get placed in, like, caskets and, like, uh, uh, cremated, yeah. we fucking are not contributing to the circle right, of life. Right, yeah. I think that's that's kind of what I'm thinking of, because, yeah. like... I don't want to call it the soul, yeah. but something along those lines. Yeah. Like, that can't just be... Right. That can't just be like... <laughs> Are you going to use the mic for, with your brain? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's not just recycled, I think. I yeah. mean, it's... I didn't, and I don't know what happens to it. Yeah. Then, like, you know, you, you hear, oh, it's it just goes toward the great energy of the universe. And it's like, okay, but what does that mean? Yeah. Like, what does that entail exactly? Because mm-hmm. I'm not, I don't have any interest in guiding other living beings. I'm not a fucking guardian angel. Like, mm-hmm. let me do what I want to do. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think is, like, the coolest afterlife? Valhalla. <laughs> Valhalla, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, but don't you only, like, go in there if, like, you have a warrior's death or something? Yeah. Dang, we gotta a, make sure our dudes <laughs> That's the hard part. Let's go out. Actually, I'm not gonna say that. Just in for the future, just yeah. in case. Yeah. You don't okay, wanna... now that sounded like a threat. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no. We'll just leave it at that. But, uh, yeah, I'd say Valhalla's pretty cool. Yeah. That'd be my choice, I yeah. think. I think it's kind of funny that in Greek mythology, there is no, like, happy afterlife. Yeah. Which is kind of, like, comforting, yeah. almost. Like, everyone just goes in the shit. I don't know. Yeah, there is. There is? Elysium. What's that? Isn't that? That's, like, the... Uh, it's, like, the nice place. Hmm. Like, there's fruit and fields and oh, shit. Yeah. I think. I feel like, yeah. 
I don't know if I got the name right. There's a good one. Yeah. It's not very important yeah. in Greek mythology. Because no, I, like, <laughs> yeah. I love that shit. I don't think many people end up there. Yeah. Just like Steve Jobs and like Stephen yeah. Hawking, just like just them two. <laughs> <laughs> Those two. And the entire history of humans. Oh, man. They're just like playing chess and like tabletop games. With them. I forgot Stephen Hawking was dead. Yeah. Like, it was really sad when like. Fuck it. The first pictures of black holes came out, like, after I died. know. Like, that's just... It shows to show... It, it goes to show, not shows to show. <laughs> that, like, the universe is a cruel son of a bitch. Or a bitch. Like, just you know, a bitch. Just a bitch, because bitch right now is probably g- gender neutral. I, I use it yeah. as a gender neutral term. Now, I don't like the idea of heaven. Yeah. Because it's... Like the Christian heaven? Right. Because yeah. it's sort of this, like, exclusive club. Mm-hmm. I feel like you can kind of just buy your way into it. At yeah. least that's what they told people in the Middle Ages when they were like, yeah, you can just fucking give us some money and we'll make sure you get up there. It's like, okay, mm-hmm. come on. But at the same time, people always say, like, I know grandma's smiling down at us and it's like ah she's at the ceiling <laughs> she's on the roof i've i really she's like perched on a bookshelf i like i really don't think she if i'm in heaven yeah. i'm not gonna be like hmm, like looking down from the clouds like oh look there's my grandson like yeah. i don't give a shit yeah you'll be up here eventually i guess like let me do my thing i kind of almost hate the idea of an eternal afterlife. Yeah, and it's got to be real good for yeah. to for me to want to stick around forever. Like, there's got to be like, like we get all the new shit that Earth gets as well. Like yeah, all the video games, all that shit. Yeah, that's that's what I I'm like. Or alternatively, everyone that was dead and went to heaven makes shit up there too. Yeah, but they they just sort of like they keep doing they what have, they did. Yeah, they just have infinite life. resources, so they can, yeah. Do whatever. It's so like Shakespeare's cranking out his millionth play. Yeah. That'd be pretty like fucking cool. the animators cool. are working together. Making yeah. Films. That, that actually sounds pretty sweet. And I mean, and it's not like, oh, I have so much to catch up on because yeah. you're there for eternity. eternity so so like, yeah. <laughs> start from where you left off, yeah. I guess. But, you know, I never watched Pulp Fiction. I'll give that a <laughs> Yeah. Let's, There's I Pulp mean, Fiction 2 in there. Yeah. Oh. Wait, no. Quentin Tarantino is still alive. <laughs> Tempting. Oh, no. uh, I like the idea of <coughs> it's whatever you think it is. Yeah, I do like that. But you know, well, saying all this, the, they also like the personal heaven sort of thing, where like your heaven is like the almost like the best moment of your life, just forever. Yeah, and you're reliving it. Eh, I say I would get. I'm not a. No, uh, Give me then like it infin- won't be the... infinite material. Give me infinite stuff. Right, like let, yeah, yeah like let, me- yeah. Uh it's like you get to do what you always wanted to do. Yeah. It's like you're living, but the good part. Yeah, like the shit that you enjoy doing. Yeah. And that's what kind of bothers me about it is that you know, Oof. can't burp. Uh, like. For life to mean anything, you have to have the bad with the good. Yeah. Or else, like, the good doesn't... It doesn't matter. It doesn't... Like, it's it sort of feels mundane. Right. Like, if you've had too much of a good thing, it starts to just, you know, not feel like anything. That also raises the question, if there's an eternal afterlife, then yeah. what's the point of even living in the first place? Yeah. Is that to make it more meaningful? Yeah. Like, because... Is it like a test? A hundred years versus eternity is really not. Yeah. That that doesn't equate for me. Mm-hmm. Like, what's the point then? Yeah. If we could just do that, then yeah. I'm. I just want to go do that. Yeah. I don't know. See, I can't wait till we like crack the wait no until we like are able to live till like two hundred and shit, and like sort of slow down the aging process. Because yeah. I'm pretty sure we're working on that. We are. We're kind of like we're I, kind of close. I read something that was like, with the advance of medical technology, the first person that will live to be a thousand is alive today. 
What? I mean, if we're still around after, you know, yeah. global warming. Yeah. But what if, like, a mega cancer comes, like, it's like, ha, huh, I want to kill all of you. I think they like, actually plague. found a cure. For cancer? For, like, breast cancer. Oh, yeah. Or maybe not, like, a cure, but, like, a, a pretty, pretty yeah. good... Treatment. Yeah. Yeah. Or, like, a way to make sure you don't get it. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. I I'm interested though. Yeah. I want to I want to know in after in the afterlife. Yeah. See, that all that being said, it's yeah. watch, watch it's just going to be nothing like you just yeah. that's it. I that, mean That's what I I That's the realistic yeah. thing, but I hope See, I it is hope something that better. This is the end. Like after we die. Because then like it puts that much more meaning into what you did. Yeah, but but that's kind of that's kind of shitty to me to have to to have to give it meaning to have to be yeah. like no yeah that was that was great I had a great <laughs> great time because that's it that's all I get so yeah I did what I wanted to do yeah and that then again then that also makes me think the opposite yeah. like okay if we're around for only a hundred years <laughs> nice um. Do you want to explain that? <laughs> no, no, okay. I like I like leaving it. Like, um, what am I trying to say? <clears throat> like, I don't want the hundred years or whatever. Yeah. However long we're around, I don't want that to have to be the significant part. Yeah. You want like the because the next step to be the significant if you had a shitty life. Yeah. Then you got to be like, oh man, that one time I ate a good apple was awesome it's like that's so shitty that's so sad Except, to like, have you, to like you don't you don't do that you just die so you don't look back at your, yeah. your life you, it just sort of happens yeah but i think it's, it's crappy it's... to have like one opportunity and the possibility of you wasting it yeah like that's a real possibility that's why you just gotta live in the moment because it is that that's that's what i think that's my belief What's what's the thing? Carpe diem. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Seize the yeah. Seize the day. Seize the car. Sometimes carp. you know, seizing the day is sitting around and watching TV all day. It's true. That's, that's, I guess. I guess. Sometimes it's quitting college. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. Temporarily, parents, if you're listening. Temporarily. <laughs> Hmm. Audible wink. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird thing to think about. Yeah. It's hard to. It's hard to fathom something that you have no proof of. Yeah. It's like trying to think up a new color. Yeah. You literally can't. Yeah. What's now? Uh, pivoting off of death. What's your, what's like your philosophy on like leading up to death? Like sort of like like how do you cope with the fact that literally with today. You could die. I I don't. Do you ignore it? Do you just like? Yeah, I don't really think about it because yeah. then you would just live in constant paranoia. Yeah. If like, yeah, at any then, second I could have a brain aneurysm. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah, a number of things could happen to me at but any then second. There's also the thought that like I could die tomorrow, so mm -hmm. I might as well spend a little bit more. That's to go, true. Go do this because I'd never done this before. That's true. Yeah. I think you should kind of live that way. Like, yeah. if so you have the opportunity, yeah. Like, if you have the opportunity, I really think you should seize it. Yeah. Like, if you've never traveled before, fucking do it because yeah. there's a lot of shit to see. If you've put it off for twenty, thirty years, it's likely that you're gonna put it off for another twenty or thirty. Yeah. Like, just do it. Yeah. Just go ahead and do it. Like, have. Well, no, that, that's not true. I was gonna say have that have fling, but <laughs> you should not cheat on your partner. That's that's, that's not what I'm. Wait, what? <laughs> I I said have that fling, but then I was like, well, that's not really. A fling is after a relationship. That's what I right? is it? Yeah, because like you, it's like after a breakup, and you just like it's like a you hook up after. I thought a fling was just a hookup. I thought it was like interchangeable. No, I, I thought a fling was like after like a relationship, like, huh. like oh, I broke up. It was just then I like 
they did this Had one guy was, was a fling. Huh. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? There's only two of us, so like, can't. <laughs> <laughs> can't bounce it off the third party. Yeah, uh, yeah I can. Watch this. Hey, Siri. <laughs> What's a romantic fling? I, I was wondering why you didn't say fling first, and then I remembered, like, fling is an actual thing. <laughs> yeah. It describes a brief sexual or romantic affair. They are fleeting unions. Temporary. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about being after a relationship. But it doesn't say anything about being during as well. So maybe it's just... Well, I think maybe it's just any... Wrong. No, well, I was saying it's yeah. just any time. Oh, yeah. Like, it's just a fling. Like, yeah. Just, like, one night stand. Yeah. Um, okay, well, bouncing off of that, yeah. how do you prepare when you know you're going to die? Now, that's that's terrifying. Like, if you're on your deathbed, yeah. or the doctor's like, you got like a Like, you got cancer, yeah. stage four, you got, like, a week. How, do, how would I cope? How, yeah. What would I do? Yeah. It's, it's a, like, a terrifying thing. That'd be shitty. Yeah. That'd be horrible. Because, like... Like, if, if that happened to me right now, yeah, that would be terrible. Yeah. Like, because I'm quite young. I haven't done shit. Yeah. I haven't done anything. I've gone to a little, like, I've seen a little bit of the world, but, like, yeah. not as much as I, I want to see. Right. And I've done very little in the grand scheme of what I would like to do with my life. Yeah. So, like, what 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 can you pack into a week? Right. Like, like you can go, like, on a plane, like, right to somewhere. Yeah. Like, see one thing and that's about it yeah and then it's like oh boy can't do that again yeah like you, you know like you're gonna be missing the people like you love yeah and you know they're gonna be hopefully heartbroken yeah <laughs> so it's, it's like it's no just... fuck you zach we thought you were gonna do <laughs> fuck you it's just shitty all around yeah there's no i don't think there's really a way to prepare for it no i'd be so panicked yeah like how, how, like, and you would have to break that news to your family and friends. Oh God, that's the part I would not be looking like, cause, forward to. Because your doctor walks in, and you're just like, well, uh, we got a, there's something. Got up. a, got a bit of a problem yeah. to discuss. You're, you're gonna die. <laughs> oh man, we've never seen cancer this bad before. Well, shit, then that means it's gotta suck to be the doctor. Yeah. Okay. Like, they gotta do that a lot. Yeah, they're like, you're gonna die soon. See ya. Or like, yeah. That's all. I I never like giving people bad news, especially yeah. regarding like deaths. Yeah. Because it like their reaction makes it worse. Mm -hmm. Like you already know it's bad. Yeah. But when they go, oh, I'm so sorry, or they cry or whatever, it's yeah. like, ah, yeah. that made it worse. Yeah. Like that's not their fault, but yeah. Like you, I don't it like really it. Really sucked to like. Text in the group chat, you like, yo, I'm gonna die. I'm dying. What's up? Uh yeah. And you'd have you'd have to sort through a lot of that. You'd have to like everybody you know. Yeah. You'd get some kind of call or yeah. message or visit. It's like I'm okay. Yeah. Like I got a week left. Yeah. Just let me go to this jungle or whatever. <laughs> like I <laughs> I'm just gonna live in the jungle for a whole week. That's I'm that's what I peace. want. <laughs> Man. But then that would also make them feel shitty because it's like, oh, I never got to say goodbye. Yeah. Like, but I should respect their wishes. I don't know. It's just yeah. a bad. I don't would know. you kill yourself if you were gonna die? It depends on the amount of time and the yeah. circumstance. Like, yeah. it was like, okay, you got a couple months, but yeah. you're gonna be like bedridden yeah. and sick yeah. and like feeling shitty all yeah. the time. That's like, pop yeah, that cyanide tooth. Yeah, like yeah. there's no point then. Like, why? That's not fucking... Yeah. Can't do anything with that. But if it was, like, get a couple days, yeah. I'd be like, alright. Yeah. Cool. I'll go to Mount Rushmore or whatever. I don't want to go to Mount yeah. Rushmore. I'd like to fucking think that I'd, I'd spend my last moments alive with, like, my closest friends and yeah. family. That's what I hope. Yeah. And, like, just just not necessarily talking about 
it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mainly just focusing on being together. Right. And like, you know, maybe play some video games. Right. Play a, a last game of D&D. Ugh. It's making me sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not even for me, for other people. Yeah. I think, and that's what makes it so scary that you could just die at any moment because yeah. you don't have that time to prepare and yeah. be like, like, that's how I can see why people are like, oh, the last thing I said to them was this yeah. dumb thing. It's yeah. like, ah, why? I think every person that goes through like grief has that experience where they're like, oh, oh. I could have been so much more yeah. patient or loving, or maybe we shouldn't have talked about that as the last thing I ever said to them. It's like, yeah, but you can't really help that, and I doubt they care. Yeah. Like, you don't beat yourself up, because everybody does that. It's like, oh, I wish I'd done this and that. It's like, well, yeah. <laughs> Not a whole lot to do about it. It's getting me down. It's making me sad. Yeah. It is interesting, though. Yeah. No one's yelling at them. Somewhere, I don't know. I hear you screaming. Yeah. But. Maybe the zombies have finally. Maybe someone just died. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. All right, right now. Yeah. If if the zombie apocalypse, what would you grab in here to survive? Okay. First, yeah. would we stay here? Or would we yeah. go somewhere? Uh, go somewhere. This is not safe. Where? Uh, probably someplace like. Like the town hall, like the the city building, because they have a fallout shelter. Oh, do they? Yeah. So I'm sure they have like food rations and stuff, and nobody's gonna think of going to a fallout shelter besides me. You're the only one. Yeah. It would be like five other people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Oh, we got cars. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. We just uh be hella traffic though, but like downtown's not that far. Yeah. So. We could run if we had to. Yeah. Yeah, we could just walk. Sure, zombies. Fend It'll take zombies. a little while for them to get to us. And there will be other people well, around. We that can, they can like sprint. Yeah. Fast walk, skip. We can have big sticks to push them, <laughs> push them away. Uh, I found that one of the most useful sort of multi tools in any sort of apocalypse or just general adventure like scenario is a crowbar. Yeah. Prying things open. Yeah. Opening a can of beans. Breaking crowbar. things open. Breaking. Breaking things. Breaking bones. Hitting people. Hitting people. Um, yeah. Yeah. Pulling out nails. Leverage. Yeah. It's true. Shovel's another good one. Yeah. You can dig. Dig. <laughs> dig. You can also use it to pry things. Yeah. You can also use it to hit people. Yeah. You can eat off of it. Plus, it makes a really funny sound when you hit people. It does. It really does. <laughs> it's like that vine of the throat. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you think like people would be using like yard tools? Uh, I hope so. Like, do you think someone's gonna be out there with a weed whacker? Yeah, it's gonna be me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be on my riding lawnmower, just <laughs> going over zombies. I'm gonna get on a. Uh, I'm gonna modify a zamboni, and like put like. Big old spikes all over yeah. it. So it just like, chews through zombies. Makes blood ice. Yeah. Blice. Blice. Oh, wait, Zambonis don't make ice. Just just puts the thing down. Yeah. Why do you need such a big ass machine for that? You just do that with a bucket and a mop. <laughs> you think before Zambonis, they just did that? Like in between hockey games, they just threw a yeah, bucket of water out there and like. I feel like that's kind of all you need. Yeah. Why? What? What does the zamboni even do? It, cause like w when you're like ice skating or whatever, and like it, it, there's holes in the ice. No, I know what it yeah. does, but it's like, why do you need one? You could just do that with. It's probably faster. It's pretty slow. You ever seen a zamboni go around? Uh... You ever mop anything? Yeah, but if it's our, if it's ice, just be like bucket, 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 yeah. swish, swish, swish. Yeah. Done. It also probably gets a really level. That's true. I yeah. think that's what it does. Yeah, really even. What if in on the inside of a zamboni, it's just the guy with a bucket? And it's just <laughs> it's just a mop on yeah. the bottom. The the driver's just holding the mop and like <laughs> it's just like there's no internal mechanism. Yeah, yeah. There's like a little motor for like the the for the wheels. The engine. Yeah. Or yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just <laughs> it's just a mop. 
Uh, do you think like some towns don't have Zambonis? ice rinks? Yeah, Zambonis. Yeah. It's weird that that's just like a thing, and here in Huntsville. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, let's go to a uh, hockey game. <coughs> Watch the Zamboni and throw a puck into the center and get a jersey. Hockey's fun, actually. It's fun yeah. to watch. Yeah. The fights are the best part. Yeah. That's why I watch boxing. <laughs> it's only fighting. <laughs> it's like the best part of hockey, <laughs> but it's own thing. But it's a whole sport. Yeah. That's how I came up with boxing. <laughs> oh, man. Just like all the angriest hockey players. Yeah. We're like, you know, why don't we just fight? Why not? <laughs> oh, man. What time are we at? Uh, like five, uh, 40. Let's take a break. I need to pee. Me too. Ouch. You want to do a clap? Sure. Ah. Uh, oh, wait, I guess we're in the actual podcast. I shouldn't do that. Yeah. Um,. I don't remember what you're talking about. Uh, All right. Cool. 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 Hmm. Got anything else? Uh. We could talk about something. Uh, I got something. Okay. Uh, I started watching a show. I've been searching for a TV show to watch. Yeah. Quite recently, and. Uh, I needed something that I haven't seen in a long time. Yeah. That is very long. Uh, and that I could just sort of put on in the background while I usually just play Minecraft. Steve Universe. No. Because I watched that quite recently. <laughs> no, I, I started watching Doctor Who again. Oh. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Star yeah. Trek is long, but no. Yeah, but, like, I kind of want to pay attention to that show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Maybe after, like, a rewatch. Maybe once I watch it off. Then. But it's 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 interesting. Because, like, Who. some of the episodes are really bad. Yeah. But some of them are really good. Yeah. And that's how the show has always been. And it's it's it has its moments where... Uh, it tugs at my heartstrings mm-hmm. because uh, it often has like moments of humans in the future. Yeah, like when when we've like developed space travel and like we're on other planets and stuff. Right, and it's just so he- cool to like hear monologues about our future that could possibly be true. Doctor Who. Yeah. 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 It. It's very like, almost. Well, yeah, it is inspiring. It's like yeah, that could. That could be our future. That's how Star Trek is for me. Because yeah. it's like, there was an episode where they find, um, like, a cryogenic capsule floating yeah. around in space. And they're like, oh, shit. Yeah. And the people were from, like, the 1900s. No, I've seen that episode. And this, yeah, yeah, and that yeah. one dude was like, uh, well, my bank account must have a lot of interest. And it was like, uh, we don't have money anymore. <laughs> and it was like, oh, shit. They're, like, advanced, advanced. Yeah. Like, that's how I'm trying to be. Yeah. Doctor Who I just could never yeah. get into. No, like yeah. it it's I think it's because it's British. Yeah. <laughs> and they have a very limited <laughs> What about robots? It's like, whoa, yeah. that's fucking wild. Nobody's yeah. ever thought of that before. Yeah. It's like try I don't know. Interesting sci fi that's yeah. not just weird earth. Like they have some cool concepts, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it's like, okay, mm-hmm. think a little bigger. Yeah. My, there's definitely, like, I'm in the trudge of it right now. Yeah. If you want to start watching, I, I honestly don't recommend the first two seasons. I, like, it's kind of not that good, in my so, opinion. So, how does it, I know, okay, so yeah. it's all one show. Yeah. But just with different doctors, or yeah. it's different so, series. So, uh, it's it 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 started like way back when, like it was one of the first television shows on the BBC. Oh shit! Uh, and that was back when it had no budget. 
Yeah. And it was super cheaply made. And uh, it was, it, it's kind of still how it is today. Like, you never know what kind of episode you're going to get. It could mm-hmm. be really good or it could be shit. Yeah. Uh, and it, it started, <laughs> they, they sort of ended a series and then the guy that played the doctor didn't want to play him anymore. So they had the idea to make it so that the doctor can regenerate. Mm. So he, when he's killed, he, in, uh, instead of dying, gets reborn, sort of, and, like, has a new face. New, right. Like, slightly different personality. Okay. Uh, and, like, how they interact with their companions is, like, differs as well. Huh, okay. Yeah. Do they have, like, the memories of their mm-hmm. old... Oh. Yeah, so it's, they have memories of all... Everything up to that it's point. It's gotta suck when they make friendships with humans. Oh, yeah. That, that's <laughs> a big old, uh, like, part of the show. Uh, yeah, yeah, I figured. Yeah. It's I like think, having to leave people behind and stuff. I think another reason I like Star Trek so much is because it, you know the quality is always going to be good. Yeah. Because, like, a, a lot of the directing staff are cast members. Uh-huh. They were, like, super devoted to that uh, universe. Uh-huh. Uh-huh generally pretty good i might give i might give doctor who a chance yeah it's just the fan base yeah. and the aesthetic of it i guess mm. is a little off-putting but What's, what i really like is that there's a lot of variety yeah so like if you don't like how it is in one season the next could be like more your fit right or sometimes it even like changes episode to episode yeah but uh i if you do start watching it i don't recommend the current run mm-hmm. of it like the current season uh it got a new showrunner yeah. quite recently um and he's really bad <laughs> oh dang yeah uh there's a lot of video essays on why it's bad so i won't get into that yeah but he he wrote on the show a couple times beforehand and those are like widely regarded as what some of the worst episodes dang and why'd they let him have the show i don't know <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, it's it's kind of bad, but yeah, everything up to that point, like some of my favorite episodes are even like the one before that with Peter Capaldi. Yeah, because he's really good. I've uh, heard. I know who that is. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I recognize him. Uh, this is still hot. Really? Yes. Ow. Well, it's in like one of those. Oh yeah, thermos. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. But Doctor Who's pretty good. I like it. It does have, you know, a stigma yeah. to it, and that it, it is sort of rightly uh, yeah. so because uh, some uh, a good portion of the show could be considered, you know, bad. I feel like once I get into it, I'll yeah. love it. Oh yeah, I just have to get over that barrier. Yeah, you. There's two ways that I can suggest you start watching it. Yeah, you start. Like season three or four, after, like, because season one, it's not that good. I don't like the doctor. Mm-hmm. It, like he's, that's the old one. Yeah, he, he's, well, it's sort of old. He's just he's bald. That's his like. That's all mm. I know. Oh. Uh, but I can't remember the actor who played him, uh, Christopher Eccleston or something. Mm. I think that's what it is. But I really don't like how he he. He just doesn't fit for me. Yeah. Uh, David Tennant is really good. Mm-hmm. I know who that is. Too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, people often refer to him as the best doctor. Yeah. He's uh, a big like actor and other stuff too. Yeah, yeah. He's like currently in Good Omens, which I haven't watched. Oh yeah. Uh, and so loads of other stuff. Then there's Matt Smith, which like, you know, played that one guy in Terminator Genesis, <laughs> and had other roles. But yeah, he's pretty good. I like that sort of run. Like his his seasons are mm-hmm. they're sort of split into two parts. One part, no, it, I guess it isn't. It has a very clear arc. Yeah, and those episodes are much more like consistent when yeah. in uh, like style and uh, production value, and also just overall goodness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then Peter Capaldi, uh, is really good as well. I like it. Yeah, yeah, because he, he he brings like an old, 
crotchety man. Because mm-hmm. the doctor is like 900 years old. Right. Yeah. And like, I think really older than that too. Because sometimes, like, he'll leave and do tons of other stuff in between a season. Yeah. That's and, interesting. And he'll just age. And yeah. Uh, his his face won't change really. Hmm. That's neat. Yeah. I actually redact what I said about the quality of Star Trek. Yeah. If if the series is good, yeah. the episodes will be good. Yeah. But like Star Trek Enterprise, yeah, is pretty garbo. Which one's that? It that's the one with Scott Bakula as the captain. Mm. And oh he's, yeah, I know, I know which one. You're about. It's okay. For example, like yeah. each captain has the thing that they're into. Yeah. Like Picard is uh, like poetry and yeah. theater and archaeology, like interesting shit. Um. Cisco in Deep Space Nine is into like old Earth baseball, um, and cooking like with real food and shit. Scott Bakula's thing was water polo. <laughs> really? Yeah, like an ensign would walk into the captain's room or whatever, and he'd be like, "Oh, sorry, I was just watching a game of water polo." It's like, what? Huh? He's basically a dad. Yeah, that's his character. Huh. So it's pretty, yeah, yeah, not the best. But that's the only series that's like not good. Well, that and the original series. Yeah, the new one, which I can't remember the name of for some reason. Uh, Enterprise. No, not Enterprise. That's the one with Scott Bakula. Oh uh, no. Star Trek Voyager. No, not Voyager. Star Trek. That's the one with Captain Janeway. Well, anyway, it's got the the. Uh, it's the, got some sort of uh, synonym to adventure or yeah, something. <laughs> yeah. The uh, the black lady yeah. that was in The Walking Dead uh, is like the main character. That one's really good. It's it feels very different from other Star Trek because it's yeah. a lot more action oriented. Yeah. And instead of being like that, uh, good old red. <laughs> letter media guys absolutely hate it really yeah i don't hate it it's yeah. definitely not it doesn't feel like star trek yeah because it's also not episodic it has a big story behind it and it's also about like one character whereas other star trek shows it's like the whole crew is in an episode it's mm. like each person has development so it's pretty different but i like it yeah. it was pretty good yeah we could almost parallel, not parallel, but uh, jock like a conclusion from those shows. Like Star Trek is more consistency, mm-hmm. and uh, Doctor Who is more variety. Yeah, yeah, which both have its ups and downs. Right, that's probably pretty true. Like yeah. Star Trek is definitely pretty out there. Yeah, like it, you're all you're almost always going to be in space. There's only so many things you can do, mm-hmm. and you kind of, you generally know how an episode is going to turn out. Like, they can have, you know, plot twists and cool stuff happen, but you you pretty much know who's going to win at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Well, for, yeah, for the most part. <laughs> I started it with, I started Next Gen with Julia, yeah. and she was upset when Yar died. Yeah. Cause she, I was like, she had a crush on the R, yeah. and uh, I was like, <laughs> cause I knew she wasn't gonna make it. Oh, those are paragraphs. Need to respond? No. Yeah. Sci-fi is great. It is. I love sci-fi. It's hard to make. It is. It's real hard to make. Mm-hmm. Cause Especially you can't... like sci-fi that holds up. Right. Yeah, because a lot of sci-fi, especially Doctor Who, you have to like put on a lens of like, this was cool for its time. Yeah. Uh, and you can recognize that some of it is goofy. That's what I think. It's hard to write sci-fi. Yeah. Because you can't really bullshit it. Like, fantasy, yeah. you can bullshit. Because yeah. you can be like, oh, they're gloop clarks, yeah. which are the bad guys, and they're, yeah, whatever. It's like, it, you can accept that. That's why so well. Yeah. Because they took all the science, 
super serious. Right. And you kind of have, like, you have to have a good, ge- even if you don't, if, if you use bogus future science, yeah. you still have to have a good knowledge of yeah. actual science. Like, Rick and Morty, not the most, like, accredited writing team. Like, yeah. it's not Futurama, but, like, most of their shit, like, it's believable. Yeah. Like, he's like, it, sure. Yeah. Like, I don't have any quarrels with that. And, like... And they obviously think it out. Yeah. And if you're doing... If you're writing sci-fi and there's, like, an army, like, say, a future Earth-like army, like, Space Marines or whatever. Yeah. Like, to do that, you have to have a good knowledge of how the actual army works. And, like, the jargon they use and shit. But if you're writing a spaceship, you can do whatever because those don't exist yet. So it's yeah, it's yeah. it's interesting. It's, there's definitely bad sci-fi. Oh yeah, but oh, we it's, should we should start watching like shitty old movies. Yeah, like well, I actually have, um, it's a box set of fifty sci-fi classics. Yeah, like old sci-fi movies. We should do that once we move in. Yeah, we should. Place. I've only watched like one or two. Yeah. I think Godzilla's on there. I really like the original Godzilla. Mm-hmm. Like I watched it a lot as a kid. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, and I never had it. Uh, my friend had it, like my childhood friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, and not you said. <laughs> uh, and like every time that we went over there, it was like consistently I would watch it. Like yeah. Uh, before like I went to bed. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they had an. Uh, GameCube, which was pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Because the only thing I had was like an SNES and a DS. I forgot how old a GameCubes actually were because my brother had one when I was little and yeah. I'd like watch him play stuff on there. But now they're like kind of hard to find. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can play like GBA games on them. Yeah. If you get like an adapter, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, GBA game. Yeah, GBA game. That was an interesting episode. Yeah. Big segues. <laughs> Dark Souls and then Death. Mm. And then Doctor Who. And then Doctor Who, yeah. And some other stuff sprinkled in. Some other stuff. Yeah. Zombies. 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 Zombies are always good. Uh yeah. Yeah, if you want to get into Doctor Who, go for it. It is yeah. sort of like Steven Universe, where you have to get over that hump. Yeah. I'll like, give it a shot. Yeah. Because we all know the first Steven. The first Steven. The first Steven. Uh, the first season of that is rough as well. It is. It's still enjoyable yeah. as a cartoon. Though. Oh, yeah, yeah. But the lack of plot is like. <sighs> you could be so good. I know. And I know you can't because I watched one of the seasons. Because I've already seen it. I think, honestly, out of all the seasons, season one is what I'm the least familiar with. Of oh, Steven Universe? Like, if I rewatched it, yeah. I feel like I'd see more stuff in season one that I missed yeah. than any other season. It is... It's... it's... I want to say the most forgettable season. There's so much in it. Yeah. There's like 50 episodes. Yeah, God. And it... It plays off all those tropes of Steven growing. Yeah. Like, He's pretty annoying in the beginning. Yeah. I think that's the hardest thing to get through for newcomers to the show. He's 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 pretty annoying. <laughs> but he doesn't stay that way. No, and I'm very his glad. His character development. And like you saw the trailer for the new uh the movie, right? I think. I still haven't watched his the trailer. His voice is like uh like deeper. Oh. Yeah. Same voice actor. Yeah, yeah. I, I really, I think Greg and Steven are going to fuse. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, talks about it. Because, like, on the forums. that image of them with the guitars. Yeah. And they have a new voice actor who is in a song alongside Opal's voice actor. And he's a male, so. Mm. That's pretty. And the song is, like, it's called something, like, stronger together or something like that mm. right after a song with steven and greg yeah with a new male voice actor yeah I, it's so probably gonna happen. i do i really hope so yeah i wonder what it's gonna look like yeah is steven with a beard <laughs> yeah <laughs> steven with a mullet and a beard 
Yeah, that's a good ass show. Yeah, I like uh, that. There's like, well, I really like the sci-fi. Not the well, the sci-fi episodes. Like where it goes heavy into that. Yeah, and like the space pirate Lars. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like that. That could be its own show. Right. Yeah. Uh, which would be like just as enjoyable, but I doubt mm-hmm. that they uh have the have the leverage to spin off. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of spin off, uh we've got a comic book coming out called Deep Space. Yeah, Deep it's Space. uh we already finished uh the first issue. Yeah, we're just going to hold it out for like 3 to 4 years. Yeah. And, and, and let it simmer. Yeah. Not not cuz we haven't started it. <laughs> We definitely have. Yeah. We have it completely. We know exactly where we're going with yeah. it. That's what we've told the executives. Yep. Yeah. At uh, uh, uh Image Comics. Imi- big old... Big, Dark Horse. Big, big comics. Yep. Big name comics. Yeah. The whole screen, like with the bar, like the part in the middle with the lines, Yeah. it just went like... Like, just a little. It just shifted. Or maybe I'm going crazy, but I'm pretty sure I saw it. Sure, because you can look at my computer screen, and I can't find it. <laughs> yeah. Thing. Did it do it again? Is there, like, a demon on my computer? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's happening? I think I was being a dummy. I'm pretty sure it just moved cause, <laughs> because of the new... It, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. You know what's really exciting, Zach? No. Nope. The amount of RAM on my computer now. Yeah, it's more. So so much more. Because, there's more of it. Yeah, there's a whole 32 uh, gigs. Uh, what was it? What did it used to be? Just 16. I doubled it. It's yeah. twice the yeah. amount. So now it won't like struggle when we try to write, run mod packs and servers at yeah. the same time. And upload. Uh, I don't think upload, that's internet. So yeah, it wouldn't affect it. It's just exporting and... The video editing process. Because that takes up a lot of RAM. It's got to store the video like data in the RAM. The whole process. Yeah. Like, yeah. Microphone. I know, I know. You sort of progressively move <laughs> farther and farther away from it. I got to pee. Okay. Do you want to? What's that right here? Okay, I can't read it. I think, I think like, we're at like an 57? hour. That's what it looks like. To ramble for a little bit. Yeah, yeah we could just wrap it up. Very right. short episode. Thanks for listening to Tea Time Podcast. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, thank, thanks, y'all, for listening. This is 46, I believe. Something. Yeah, we're we're ending the podcast at 50, starting a new. There'll one. be a new one. Yeah. Uh, so look out for that. If you want to check out our other stuff, uh. That would be at nocontextmedia.com. Uh, you can find other great podcasts like Critical Miss or other ones that we will start someday. Yep, uh, soon. Soon. Uh, we have some video series type things over on YouTube. Yep. You can watch those. Uh, it's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah. good stuff. Yeah. You can subscribe and yeah. like and share and tell your friends, tell your family. Yeah. Put up flyers. Put up flyers. Hand yeah. out flyers. Be like, hey, these guys are really good. If you work at McDonald's, print it on the burger wrappers. Yeah. Just put it on the burgers. Put it right on the burgers. Yeah. Arrange the sesame seeds so that they <laughs> subscribe to no contact. Uh, I also have a plug for me. I started streaming a little bit. On my oh. Twitch. Yeah. Oops. That's uh, over at Simply Simon Zero over on Twitch. Stream, you know, art, Minecraft, art of Minecraft. Yeah, that's really it. All right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I uh stream quite irregularly. Yeah. Yeah. Try to maybe like twice a week. But yeah, it's been cool. fun. It's been a couple of viewers. They're like, hey, how's it going? I'm like, hey, it's going <laughs> good. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cool. Do you have a personal plug? No. Do you want to plug something? Mm-mm. Do you want to unplug podcast? I'm going to unplug you. Forget everything Simon just said. Don't check out their Twitch. Oh, I thought you'd been like, like I was a robot. <laughs> no.
No, I'm just re undoing. Yeah, my plug. Yeah. My, yeah. Unplugging. I'm gonna unplug your computer. Right now. Yep. Before you can save the podcast. <laughs>